Hello and welcome to Sarasas with the Ed Drumclaw Online Learning or simply as SWR Learn From Home. Today we will learn about equivalent fraction. So once again this is Mr. Tristan your mathematics teacher in grade 5. Before we start, these are the things that you need. Your math book, math notebook, and your pen or your pencil. So I assume you already know your notebook format, but just let me remind you again to write the date today and don't forget the two red underline for the word speed math. Okay? So let's proceed. For our speed mat today, it's all about equivalent fraction. Again, we will have three questions and one word problem. So if you're ready now, let's begin for the first question write the correct numerator write the correct numerator ten nine eight seven Six, five, four, three, two, one. For question number two, write the correct denominator. Write the correct denominator. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. For the third question, one over two is equal to six over twelve. True or false? 1 over 2 is equal to 6 over 12. True or false? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And lastly, the word problem. Write the equivalent fraction of 4 over 5. Write the equivalent fraction of 4 over 5. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Thank you and hope you all get the correct answer. Now for our proper lesson. So our lesson for today is about equivalent fractions. So what are equivalent fractions? So these are fractions which are the same in size. They are equal 
and the only difference is that they use different integers in their numerators and denominators. So for example, 3 over 4 is equal to 9 over 12. So how come they are equal? They have different numbers. So if you simplify 9 over 12, the answer is 3 over 4. So how to do that? So all you have to do is divide 9 by 3 and divide 12 by 3. And you will get the answer 3 over 4. So the same with 1 over 2 equals to 2 over 4. So if we simplify 2 over 4, the answer is 1 over 2. The same with 2 over 3 equals to 6 over 9. So again, if we simplify 6 over 9, the answer will become 2 over 3. Equivalent fractions have the same value even though they may look different. They are fractions that name the same amount or part. That's why 1 over 2 is equals to 2 over 4 is equals to 3 over 6 is equals to 4 over 8. So the first circle is divided into 2. The second circle is divided into 4. The third circle is divided into 6. And the fourth circle is divided into 8. But as you can see, the shaded part is always 1 half. That's why all these fractions are equivalent fractions. To write equivalent fraction of any fraction, we simply multiply or divide both the numerator and denominator by the same number. So example, find the equivalent fraction of 1 over 2. So as I have said, we simply multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So if we multiply 1 over 2 by 2, so 1 times 2 is equals to 2, and 2 times 2 is equals to 4. So 1 over 2 is equals to 2 over 4. So the same with 2 over 4. So if we multiply it by 2, so 2 times 2 and 4 times 2, the answer is 4 over 8. So that's why 1 over 2 is equals to 2 over 4 is equals to 4 over 8. Now, let's see if you understand our lesson for today. So let's try to answer this practice test. So write the correct numerator to make the fraction equal. So number 1, 2 over 7 is equals to blank over 14. So what will be the correct numerator? Number 2. 8 over 9 is equals to blank over 27. So what would be the correct number? Number 3. 5 over 8 is equals to blank over 24. So what will be the correct numerator? Number 4. 3 over 4 is equals to blank over 12. So what is the correct number? And number 5. 4 over 5 is equals to blank over 25. So what is the correct numerator? Mm -hmm. 
So to summarize our lesson for today, always remember, equivalent fraction have the same value, even though they may look different. They are called equivalent fraction because they are equal. So equivalent means equal. And to find the equivalent fraction of a certain fraction, all you have to do is simply multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. Okay? So thank you very much once again. Hope you enjoy our online learning today. Stay home. Stay safe. Bye-bye.